Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, May 8th, 2024. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Wednesday, May 15th, halfway through the month, we have a first quarter moon in the evening sky looking very nice. The sun has a very large cluster of sunspots facing us with some other activity going on as well. Lots of auroral activity still ongoing planet-wide. I'll take a look at the drought conditions. Things don't change in the wet south and west, but they do out here. We now have gone to severe drought uh, down here in the southeast corner. I don't know what the green thing is there. Sorry about that. And nationwide, a little lessening of drought in a few spots. Nothing really has changed. Looking at smoke, there's some uh, Mexican and Central American fires going. Uh, that is only really invading down in the southern states. We're not getting much up here. Taking a look at our snowpack this season, going week by week. We hit a pretty good peak there. And here we are on the 8th. We are at 101%. Now it's melting pretty quickly, but that's normal. So it still keeps us at 100% basically. And that's a lot of moisture, so that's what's helping, is that we are still getting snow up in the mountains ongoing. Looking at our severe weather climatology, uh, now mid-May, uh, we're another notch up uh, in potential severe weather. I think it peaks in June, so we'll watch that continue. Looking at the actual severe weather for Wednesday, stuff in Texas, and then up into the uh, Tennessee Valley, for Thursday, we get a chance of some convection. So you might hear some thunder and enhanced stuff along the Gulf. And that clears out, marginal down in the southeast, chance of thunderstorms over Colorado, including the I-25 corridor. Looking for Wednesday, we got little showers coming in from the north. We always overdo the snow mix. It's not going to be snow mix down on the lowlands, but Oh well. And then for Friday, that drifts down a little bit to the southwest. Um, take a look at the normals 69 to 73 off the top of this chart, 40 to 44. And they've got temperatures low. I think that's too low. Uh, the ensemble has good cha rain chances for Thursday and then through the weekend, and then afternoon thunderstorms coming back next week. We can see this big trough in the water vapor uh, satellite image. Dry stuff down to our south. There's thunderstorms going off. Let's take a look at the animation. There really wasn't a, a feature to focus on, so I, I don't have isolated images. We just go right into this. But you can see this big low just kind of rotating around inside of a trough in the west. It becomes cut off, even drifts a little westward just keeping us under unsettled conditions, bringing in a little moisture with cool air aloft allowing clouds to lift. It's not until next week that we get some more of a ridge. You can see the west to east flow over the state. And there's a little more north northwest. By Thursday a ridge starts coming into the west. So temperatures are below normal because of the big trough but normal is much warmer, so this isn't wintry, frigid cold. This is just still cool. You can see a cold front spreading down into the south and eastern states as that trough rolls around through the weekend. We stay cool. It's not until next week that the warm temperatures come back, except for where there's snow in the mountains in here. Those are afternoon thunderstorms going off on Monday, same with Tuesday, and a little bit on Wednesday. So yeah, we should see some uh, afternoon thunderstorms popping up at the foothills, drifting randomly down across the plains, and you may get rain or some thunder or not. So moisture, I won't harp on this too long, but you can see this low up here with that trough and that cutoff, it kind of brings the moisture up and around and then back down over the state. And it kind of pools in here, you know, keeping us a little above normal through the weekend and moisture throughout the atmospheric column. And it kind of 
continues on into the beginning of next week with those afternoon thunderstorms. Looking at dew points, we start dry on Wednesday. I guess Tuesday into Wednesday. And then by Thursday, the moisture starts to come back in at the low levels. Should allow some rain showers and all. And that moisture is 30, 40 dew points. Uh, kind of staying around uh, through the weekend. A little bit of drying there on Monday. Moisture kind of comes back. There's 40 dew points by Tuesday. And that's what's going to help fuel our afternoon thunderstorms. Okay, let's take a look at the actual precipitation. Here goes that low up into the north. And it kind of goes back to the southwest. Brings moisture around. Still some snow from the northern Rocky Mountains. It was Friday. We got some showers around. Showers to our south into the weekend. And then by Monday, as the low level moisture increases, there's afternoon thunderstorms. Tuesday, more thunderstorms in the afternoon. And a hint on Wednesday, but not as clear of a signal. There's some thunderstorms on Thursday. So overall precipitation will be hit and miss. A uh, little bit of moisture down here uh, by um, over the next five days. Snow, there's still snow coming down in the central and southern mountains and a little bit up north. For the next 10 days, maybe a half inch adds up. And the snow is still uh, hitting the mountains. So we have 60s and 50s into Thursday, back to 60s for the weekend, then end of the weekend, 70s, and warming up with those thunderstorms coming back. So that'll be kind of fun, springtime thunderstorms. All right, that's all we've got today. So check out the Longmont Leader for frequent weather updates and local news. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth urging you to keep looking up.